and 61 German clock mechanism. Um, part of this has already been started. Um, this was taken apart by the person who owns the clock. They removed a lot of the parts and pieces. You can see them here in this bucket. Um, you'll see that on the reassembly video, but we're going to go ahead and tear this thing down completely. We're going to install a bushing here on, uh, on this wheel on the chime here. This is, uh, needs some attention. The chime is stalling out on it. This clock is made in. Let's see what year this is. It's a B series. I think that makes it 88, 89. It's a B series mechanism. So, you know, it's got, a uh, it's got some mileage on it, but, uh, we're going to see if we can get it on. He's running another couple of years here. I uh, turn this thing down, putting in a couple of bushings. So we're going to start by um, well, removing everything off here on the front plate, moving uh, what we can on the back plate here. And uh, anyway, the verge has uh, already been removed. There's no, there's no anchor. Um, the thing just free wheels. Um, anyhow, I see people are commenting. I don't see what the comments were. I'm too busy looking at the clock. I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to repeat yourself. And, uh, I'll try my best to multitask here, but I am but a man, so multitasking is a little, uh, little difficult here. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start pulling uh, this idler gear off. Easier said than done. Removing this E clip, you want to make sure it doesn't fly across the room. So you may want to put some uh, something on the back side of it while you're trying to pull it off here. There we go. Finally popped off. These things go flying off with a uh, pretty incredible speed. So anyhow, pull that off. And this little washer. Um, unlike what I'm doing here, you really probably want to come and make good notes. I'm pulling this thing apart. Pay attention to where, what goes where, what, when, why. Because um, once you get this thing apart, which happens pretty easily, getting it back together is the uh, the real trick. Pull that off. Pull this off. Uh, I guess I'm going to pull this one off too. It's not bushing particularly like I got to get back to. So we're back. I, is there any way to pull up the comments? I did see somebody left some kind of comments. Oh, anyway, I don't know how to read them. Oh, hey Jake, that's I don't know if you're even watching anymore. It, it, it's going well. It's uh, another day of fun and excitement, breaking clocks down for a living. Okay. Oh, that's not going to come off until we pull off these two cams right here. I'm going to pull off this e clip here. And we're going to make a note. It's like uh, this whole house. Everything comes apart real easy. It's getting it back together. It's uh, a little bit uh, more hairy. So I guess this, this screw is not tightened down all the way. I'm going to grab this and back it off. Right. That does not seem like it's moving at all. It's great. So I'm going to grab a bigger screwdriver here. Um, as you see, my desk is a mess. That's pretty much a prerequisite for doing anything like this. It's got to be a wreck. You're not working every day. <clears throat> There's some kind of saying about clean desk is a sign of a Disorganized mind, in good graces, I can find just about every single one I'm looking for, except for what I'm looking for. Let me see what we got. Oh, we're gonna have to make this work then. So, let's see. This over here. All right. This is a little uh, chime coordinator 
right here. Pull that off. Drop that in the parts bucket. Pull this off. And this is not gonna come off because there's a set screw in between the plates. This will come off once I move this around. There's two set screws on the back side of this. This is the stop pin. tight with the set screw and gouges inside of it. All right, so we got all that off. Can we get this out yet? No, close but no cigar. Well, and maybe I could slip it through in the little notch right there. We come out, no, nope. okay, of course not. Because I want you to. So there's another little set screw here in the plates. Let's see if I can turn that around on the camera. How do I don't want to shut down the chat menu. There we go, okay. Ah, perfect. You see a little set screw right here. You pull that set screw out. Again, anybody tuning in, this is um not entirely the breakdown video. I'm not trying to mislead anybody here, but the uh, the cable drum's already pulled out, and this thing's got to come completely apart anyway. So I figured I'd uh I'd share with everybody. I'll put that collet and that set screw back on here, and uh, let's see. Tighten that on. And, all right, I think, other than this gear in the back plate, this thing is so back heavy because of this roll of chimes right here in the back, so it keeps wanting to tilt back. I'm going to keep that in place because I don't really need to mess around with the back plate at all in today's video. So, pull this off. There we go. Pull the drive gear for the chime wheel off. And knock the camera off. Integral part of today's show. Let's see if I can put this clamp back on here. Maybe Santa will bring me a, a tripod for Christmas. I don't know if I'll be really good this year or not. Probably not. Depends on who you ask, I suppose. There we go. All right. I'm gonna stay put. This new slippery phone case I got is such a pain. I'm just get this thing to sit here and hang on. It's already slipping again. Okay, I think we're actually locked back on here now. I'm just try not to touch the phone or the clamp. Anyhow, now that we made a big epic mess here in front of us, I'm trying to find a uh, wrench that's about the same size. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Hollywood magic right there. A kid. Pull this off too. Don't lose this little spring. It's right here on this lever. Come on, camera, focus. Focus. The camera needs some Adderall here. A little spring. Right about there. Okay, I'm gonna drop that lever in the bucket too. You know what? And uh, just because I'm feeling froggy, let's go ahead and pull off the uh, chime selector lever too. 
that's going to be in the way. I'll put the bush again. Let's see. Got that hung on to the back. Now I'm pulling off these four nuts. Well, I was going to pull off from the back side instead, isn't it? Now that this pillar post is completely loose, it's not one. Oh, there's nothing on the back there. I'll explain a lot. Okay, I'm gonna take a um, reach in there with a pair of pliers. Try to hang on to this. Perfect. Okay. On to that from the inside. Holding this off. All right, that's one tough nut to crack. There we go. It's all about the jokes and jokes here. All right, now I'm going to pull off the other four, which are going to be very easy. Also, I'm going to pull off this um, this piece called gathering pallet. This is something you're going to want a, uh, a puller on. This gathering pallet picks up the uh, strike rack. Oh, hey, look, I don't even need the puller. Beautiful. Well, half the work's done for me here. All right, well, I guess this is a video about a semi-complete breakdown. This poor clock's in some trouble. I'm gonna get this thing all fixed up here. Okay, now here's the big show. Everybody's ready for it, and find something that's tall enough to uh, to prop this up. You know let's uh, let's use this. Okay, all these moving parts and pieces, and wait for it. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Ah, you know what? That would, uh, that definitely help. Just, uh, don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain. Voila, there we go. You have the entire inside of a Hermley 1161 050. Take a picture so it lasts longer.